religion, gay rights, and so much more. What does God mean to you can be a very loaded question. I, until very recently, when I let back God into my life as a small child, was very religious. When I was told God was in everything and everywhere, I asked my mother before one of my Hebrew school classes, so is he in doorknob? I think I was only after a few things happened, I stopped believing in God. Once my Hebrew school teacher was getting greedy and was going to grade us based on if we went to her shows, I asked myself, how can one who teaches about God do that? You also must keep in mind, I was a child who was very different from many others. I was shy, liked to keep to myself, and really enjoyed learning a lot. I don't like being talked down to or not knowing the proper names for things or how the world or how the world works. I always wanted real answers. My uncle died at age 23. I was still a small child. Besides, my immediate family and my grandfather on the on my father's side, I wasn't very close to anyone else. Plus, he made me feel truly seen. I loved that. Loved. That was a big blow. I also understood things that were going on in the world. As a child, I watched the news. I grew up with it. I thought, how can God do this to his own people in the world? To other children, how can God let people go hungry, thirsty? So I stopped for a very long time. That is until I would say I was in my teens. Once I felt loved again from others who weren't family, high school was a big turning point for me. I had friends who helped me love myself, and so I wanted to help others do the same. That gave me purpose. I had a nickname, Little Ricky Lake. I helped others uh, like a little school therapist. I even had a high school sweetheart, so I didn't uh, so much believe in God, but was spiritual, felt maybe that was enough. I even felt closer to, at the time, was the LB, LGBTQ <laughs> community. I was embarrassed. I was, no, <laughs> I was embraced by them. I had a lot of friends. I was quite popular because, like now, I don't turn away and loved all. If you don't hate anyone, how can anyone hate you? I even got bullies to like me. Now, how funny that is that we had a big talk. It just shows if people are willing to change, they can. We even ended up liking each other. The only big reason I didn't stay in contact with anyone was me, my issues. That is for a different video to deal with high anxiety and depression. Now, before we talk about how I feel about God, now I want to talk about other religions. Yes, I know you clicked on this video I made it this far. Thank you. You also are here for the LBG, L, LGBTQ plus talk. I will get to that. As you already can tell, I was uh, practicing. Um, I, I was a practicing Jew reform. We, as a family, no longer practice anything from Judaism. However, 
all my life, I was only, I always been interested in other religions. Even as a young child, I always, I'm always curious about other religions and looked up many myself. I learned about many, though studying through studying or other or the best way asking people to practice who practice them themselves. I have never stopped learning or thoughts on them. Or even more so what I want to want it want <laughs> or thunderstorm outside is kind of making me feel a little more or even more so what I want wanted to or not to believe in myself. One thing, however, that was constant in my life was a message of equality, something both my parents was very passionate about and meant always a lot to me, not just religion, but creed, ethnicity, race, color, and the LGBTQ. Now with a proud plus. When I was growing up, if you weren't straight, even more so straight white male, then you won't get far in life. Even worse back when my mother was going to school. Now, who would have guessed that once, not through the popular vote, but the electoral college, we would elect a man who divide, would divide our nation so much that any progress made, well, the hate behind closed doors now would be out in the open more so than in the past eight years. Electing Trump made people so comfortable showing off how much they hate Americans. It's appalling, especially so with the LGBTQ+. Plus and trans community. Why did the far right become so okay with so much hate? It's one thing to speak out against our president. Yes, he is our president. Did you see a mass mob storm the Capitol when your guy was in office? How about physical and extremely upset verbal abuse Liberals? I don't think so. There's freedom of speech and then there's hate, pure hate. I have never gone out of my way to attack anyone for being different. In fact, for those who use the excuse that it says in the Bible, not once does it say anything you try to link all this to. It's just your reason to hate, Place, plain and simple. Does it not clearly say, love thy neighbor? What happened to that? Did you lose that part along the way? You can't call yourself a follower of the Lord if you hate. If you, if you prejudge and lie on the topic, we as a nation need growth. We need to heal on both sides. Be it you believe in God or not. I love all. I don't shame people for what they believe or who they love. Neither should you. I don't take issue with those who say they follow the Lord and have hate in their hearts. Who can't let go of the past and learn to grow from it? Who lie to themselves to feel they are better person to get by with their life if you truly and I mean truly love God say you follow the Lord then love yourself first accept yourself don't let those feel f fueled with hate around you say in your life help those in need who truly need you and need your love and understanding. Love one another for who they are, 
not for who you want them to be, and really accept everyone in your heart. That is what God would want. Not hate, not excuses, but real love. Compassion, for that is in the Bible too, isn't it? God bless. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.